Okay. Okay, I got this finished. And, um, well, I don't really have it finished, but this is a part. It took me about a half an hour to program this, or about 45 minutes to learn how to program it. So what, how the Pico keyer works, or the Pico keyer works, is that the, you got to, there's a button here, and it goes through these menus, right? And the longer you hold it down, it goes through the different menus. And uh, as you scroll through the menus, you can choose which one you want to stop at. And you let up on the button. And then you use the Morse code paddles to, um, to tell it what you want to do inside that menu just by putting in a, a character, a character or a number or something like that. And there's so many parameters on this that you can adjust. Um, it's completely overkill for this, for this less than a half a watt transmitter, but there it is anyway. Um, but uh, anyway, you hear the side tone through this little sort of buzzer thing here. And so right now I, I programmed it in for a regular 3x3 three three QRP call. So that's kind of the next step. Because, you know, the last thing you want to do, uh, my grandpa kind of joked about how I'm cheating because he said, well, you don't have to call CQ then. You don't have to sit there calling CQ, and that's one of the things about QRP that's a challenge, is you have to call CQ forever. But with this, you just press the button, turn down the speed to a reasonable speed. This is 7J1 AWL. Backslash QRP. And you can adjust the speed here. So there's the QRP call. So all you got to do is keep pressing this button here, and it just and it does a, automatically does a three by three QRP call and calls um, CQ. So we'll see if it goes on the air next. Over and out.